For practice it, self check 5.11 random over 900, we need to write a do while loop that repeatedly prints random numbers from 0 through 999 inclusive until a number above 909 or 900 that is greater than or equal to 900 is printed. So we have to use a while loop that will run this until a number above or equal to 900 is um, gotten from our random number. And at least one line of output should always be printed. This is the main part right here. It says at least one line of output should always be printed. And for any loop, a do while loop would be best in this situation because a do while loop always executes the block of code inside of the statements at least one time. So first we are going to format our do while loop. We'll have do, our bracket, and then while. Inside of our while is where we're going to have our condition and it's going to be until a number above, it's going to run until above a number above 900 or equal to 900 is printed. So we'll have number as our integer and this is what we will be comparing. We'll have, we'll run this while our number is less than or equal to 900 or it needs to, it needs to stop if it is greater than or equal to. Okay, so it's just going to be less than 900. This will run as long as the number is, nine, is less than 900 because if it's greater than or equal to 900, it needs to stop. We will be using the random number method or the random number class. We'll have random, we can call this random instead of equal to new random. That way we get a random number. And then we are just going to print out this right here inside of our do while loop. We'll have a system.out.print line. Or actually, yeah, it'll be print line. And in here we will have our string. And then attached to it, we will have our um, random statement. So before we go into here, we need to initialize our random number. We'll say int random is equal to zero. And actually we need to change this because we already used the name random. So we'll just call this rand, rand. So we have int rand and that is equal to zero. Now what we're going to do is set rand equal to random dot next int. However, we need to cap this at 999. So we're going to write 1000 in here because it goes from 0 to 1000, but it does not touch 1000. Therefore, it's 0 to 99. And then inside of here, we are just going to print out rand. And then our number, we need to change this to rand, or we need to change all of these rands to number, since I said we would be using that. And if we run this, after we write all of the correct syntax, we should pass all of the tests. So this is the code that will give us this answer. The quick summary is that we are using the random class right here. We have a temporary variable um, that will keep track of the current random number. We'll have a do while loop that'll execute at least once and print the random number. And every time this, while, this do while loop cycles through, we will get a new random number that is less than 900 or is less than 1000 um, but is greater than zero and this is going to run as long as our number is less than 900 so this is the code that will give us this output